fives. Randy's over here yielding the hind end and yielding the front end. Very good. I'm quite impressed with this gal. Good job. Maddie's just demonstrating her regular routine. And then she's going to get on Sahara. And then from there, we'll go. Okay, so Maddie's on there now. Right now she looks pretty calm and quiet. Her head's down. She's like, <laughs> Go ahead and change directions. Take her back to that scary gate. Okay, I'm just kind of observing here. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. Take her over here to the cones and just have her walk and weave through them. Good, very nice. Okay, um, finish weaving these cones and then I'm gonna have you trot her around if that's okay. Hmm. At this moment, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, go ahead and walk. Very nice. Wow. Good job. All right, can, can we do some loping? Right now? Already? Yep, already. Just nice and easy. Tying up your cinch. <laughs> Very nice. Good job. Okay. Like when you change directions? Okay. Like dive in with her nose or with what? Like if we're on this wall and we're looking, uh -huh. out as far as she can. Uh huh. Or like if we're going on the wall, she'll come out. Like she'll just dive in. Oh. Okay. Next corner, usually when I ask her, she just dives right into a little circle right up here. Uh huh. Okay. And do you, are you using your leg or anything to control oh. that? Yeah. Like all leg pressure constantly, like even bumping sometimes. But it's yeah. Like, cool. Okay. Um. So let me go ahead and get on her, and then I can determine like why she's diving in. What do we need to do different? Okay. You did very good though. Good job.
really. A lot. That's why you have to like constantly be pushing her. But then if you push her too much, she's like, oh, we're running. I was going to say, that's going to make her kind of tense up. Whenever she feels claustrophobic at all, she gets, like... She's relaxing that leg a little bit. So I'm just going to, you know, rub it around her. Make noise. Because ropes make noise and movement. They get wrapped around. Big movement, not little movement. So I don't like to sneak around them. Be like, it's, it's a rope, easy, it's a rope. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, you're touching it now. It's touching you. <laughs> I like to announce it. Like, hey, we're here. This is what I'm doing. I'm touching you. Okay? I'm gonna go to the other side. Same thing. No biggie. Very. So now if she were to try to take off on me, I'm going to one rein stop or I'm going to pull in the inside rein, take my inside leg and just spin her around, yield her hind end. Let's see if I remember how to rope. It's been so long. I love how you're so confident. Oh, I was going to say, you don't even have a hand on the rein. <laughs> Her breathing's getting heavy. No, that's what I call one of her minor blowouts. Well, at least you get a taste of what she does. Imagine that times by 10. <laughs> so my seat's gotten a little bit better because of her. <laughs> I'm glad I got that one on video. It was pretty nice. Yes, she got Brittany off a few times. Yeah, you gotta keep them in. You gotta yield their hind end. She's only bucked me off like four or five times. Now I'm sitting completely still right now. She's the one moving. There you go. 
Have you even done the other side yet? Yeah, I did the other side a I can hear her breathing from here. <laughs> So this is, it's really funny because this is how she acts in the arena, but once you take her out on the trail, she's a dead broke trail horse. Yeah. Like she will walk over water, she'll walk over logs, literally do anything. So like. But then it's just when we're in a stressful, like, anxious environment, she, like, tenses up so much and overthinks everything. But it's like she's super, super fast. Yeah. I think you're a pro roper. I learned the, I learned that she actually is okay with the back cinch, which I thought that she wouldn't be. Uh -huh. <laughs> we went to team penning practice and I forgot all my tacks, so I had to use the ladies there. And she had a back cinch on her side. I'm like, and then at the end, I'm like, I realized, oh, there's a back cinch on my horse I've never used before. So I'm glad that she didn't kill me. Cause I feel like that is something she'd be super sensitive about. Cause she's really claustrophobic, but yet she hops into the trailer perfect. Like she's a perfect, like she, she's she and she just hauls perfect, like she's and she ties perfect against the trailer, like. She's like, oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> Trust me. I know with her trot and like Western dressage. <laughs> Thank you. 
let her go forward. Oh, and what she likes to do is that in that burrow, when you're trying to lope, she will refuse to turn it. Some, like sometimes she'll just go right past it, like she won't turn it. Easy. Good girl. She, her, she, she loves her third bear. That's it. She's gonna do her diving thing. And she can run in here. Gonna get her little circle going. Nice. Wow. Good job. There you go. Give her a leg. Sit down. Look around. Kick, kick, kick. Nice turn. Look at that. Very good. Hey, good job, Maddie. <laughs> I thought you said you were only going to trot it. <laughs> I got excited. Okay. Hey, you did awesome. Good job. Okay, take two. Good. Got her lope. Nice. Easy. Wrap those legs. Kick, 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 kick. <laughs> All right.